Hello there guys, Professor Deck here, back with another Chaos Galaxy video. And today I'll be covering my take on a social room list. So social room lists basically play with uh, a bunch of different planet creatures and then bring, bringing back uh, mainly Great Serpent of the Falls. Uh, but in this deck list, I decided to go for a more value oriented hand disruptive sort of uh, mid-range deck uh, just abusing soul shroom to bring back the creatures not really bring just bring back gray serpent uh, so yeah i'll just cover the deck list now so starting off we're playing in the skelly archetype this archetype is very very strong uh, abusing skelly gas which only costs three, uh, three stars and then paying one star to bring back your skelly queen or skelly peed uh, this combo is really really good and since it uses the kill like your killed cards uh, also helps with the soul shroom count uh, yeah just a generally high value play you're putting two bodies so it's hard to get through and the power on these cards are really good I would say 400 power is not something to be looked down upon of course uh, and 150 is pretty okay, uh, gains you two points and gets past certain creatures. Uh, so yeah, next we have Pelfam, a uh, great mid-range card. I don't think I really need to discuss it. Um, yeah. Uh, next we have the Glah Guok combo. So these two cards are really good. First of all, Glah is from the planet Gaios, so this helps you with your soul shroom count once again. Uh, you're paying one star for a very small body that sort of like blocks an attack but also kills a creature and then Guok draws you two cards so these two cards are a great combo uh, but it does kind of suck when you have one part of the combo but not the other uh, but I just think that this play is just such a nice high value play that it's it's worth the it's worth running just this these two cards as a combo uh, so yeah next we have lightning squaws I would think of this card as like a a bad version of glove with Gulok, Uh but it does help with the soul room count by being a tech lower creature and it's just two stars and you're sort of like disrupting your opponent uh, sort of because they have to attack it and sacrifice their own creature basically uh, so yeah, I think this card is pretty good, uh, but it's not really the best. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great card, uh, but this can be replaced with something else. Uh, I haven't really found anything that's better than Lightning Squaws for now, that sort of does what it's doing, but yeah. Uh, next we have the Hand Disruption cards. So we have Shields and Lava Mole, comes from the planet Shios. Uh, helping with the soul shroom count so, and also it does attack your opponent's hand uh, just killing any activators that they may have and because most activators that are being played right now are all half banned uh, the moment you remove something you'll probably won't you you just won't have to worry about it ever again uh, in the worst case scenario if this card doesn't reveal an activator you're still gaining information so this helps you uh, figure out what kind of play you're going for whether you want to just stick in one single skelly queen or whether you want to go for skelly gas skelly queen because your opponent has no galaxy crash or a beast of a black hole uh, this is quite helpful in figuring out what your opponent is trying to do and sort of like responding to it uh, next is Kaleidoscope Warriors, uh, similar to what uh, Lava Mole does, but slightly better because it's less stars. Uh, but it only removes attachments, but there are quite a lot of attachments that you want to remove, like Blaze Elixir, For Sale Sign, Abomination Tomb. So this card is pretty great. Uh, plus it's from the planet Sindian, which is another planet for the <laughs> Soul Shroom count. Uh, so yeah, uh, pretty neat card. Uh, next we have the Pelly Falls archetype. So this archetype is really, really strong. Uh, it's a simple two card combo of playing one of the Pelly Falls creatures and then free playing a Great Serpent. 
and great serpent is super strong uh 470 health uh, sorry 470 power 430 health really great stat line and it also uh makes your makes cards lose abilities which is an effect that actually can really be found at all uh this kind of effect is very very rare to find in the chaos galaxy surprisingly uh so yeah it's just a really strong card uh nothing much to complain about uh you can also bring this back with uh social room as well so it's pretty good uh yeah no nothing much else to say the Pelly falls archetype in general is very great plus rowdy of the Pelly falls is uh, allows you to gain back the stars plus one additional one uh, if it's killed by Great Serpent. And Blur is just here for redundancy if you don't draw into your Rowdy uh, and you don't really want to have a Great Serpent stuck in your hand anyway, so this kind of helps with it. Uh, next, we have Beast of the Conjurers. So this deck does use quite a lot of zones, especially with the Skelly archetype, and bring back your creatures for free. So Beast of the Conjurers is very helpful. It is a 6-star creature, which is a, quite expensive, not too expensive. Uh, but I think the stat line and the fact that you're getting 2 zones off it is great. Uh, much better than Zemerzit, which was the original card that used to be here. Uh, but I think the zones are just so important. So yeah, Beast of the Conjurers definitely should be played. Uh, in a pinch, if you really need the amount of zones, you could just bring this back with Social Room. Uh, so yeah. Uh, then we have Social Room, of course. Uh, I've sort of explained this card al already. But it's just very versatile in this deck. Uh, you can bring back your Hand Disruption. You can bring back Skelly Gas to go wide. You can bring back Great Serpent for a high stat line. Uh, or Beast Side Conjurers for your zones. Yeah, Social Room in this deck is very, very versatile. And yeah, it's just a great card. Uh, next we have Beast of the Black Hole, Galaxy Crash, Planetary Field, AA. These are your four must be put in stable cards. Uh, just super strong, so yeah. Next we have Abomination Tomb. Uh, your sort of like secondary reanimation effect. Uh, pretty helpful. Uh, you do want to bring back all of these creatures anyway. They are, they're all good creatures, so yeah, Abomination Tomb just helps with that. Uh, next we have For Sale Sign. So because you're sort of like not using a lot of stars most of the time, uh, For Sale Sign is a very nice card to have to sort of be a tempo play. Uh, it also sort of like uh, punishes greedy plays like paying nine stars for a big creature and then you just steal it with a first sale sign uh it's just a very strong card uh so yeah definitely playing the only copy that's a that's like available to be played uh so yeah next we have Motown. um so this is your card advantage engine for a consistent card advantage because uh the only other card in this deck that genuinely gain like gets you more cards is the Glaguo combo. So I feel like Moltown here helps with the card draw much, like a lot more. Uh, plus, I, I feel like Moltown is just a really good card advantage engine, uh, much better than running Rel Hex Mine. So yeah, definitely gonna run two copies of this card, gonna abuse it, honestly. Uh, so yeah, next we have Helpo Belt. Uh, so this mainly searches out for your Moltowns or your Abomination Tomb and for sale signs. Though I don't think this card is the best because you have to pay three stars. So I'm just gonna run one copy just just to be able to mainly search out for Motown. Uh, just because Motown early is just really, really, really strong. Uh, next we have the Shape Knight, uh, Scorn, Erratic Void, and Displaced Lighthouse for our sideboard. So Shape Knight, Scorn, obviously great in the Shape Knight matchups. Erratic Void, mainly for the decks that are abusing uh, any free plays, uh, mainly against the sh social mirrors or uh, against Polysium. Uh, so yeah, pretty good card. And then Deep Space Lighthouse, because we're running Shias already, this helps a lot with the Blue Flame matchup. Uh, 
So yeah. Uh, also in the blue flames matchup there is a l is actually surprisingly good because you're also running Motown. So it's it's pretty great. Uh so yeah. Uh so hope you guys enjoyed the deck list. You can find the deck in the description below. If you have any suggestions on cards I should add in. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are gonna say I should add in uh Dark Spark Diabolus. But I feel like I just really couldn't find the space. Maybe I'll cut the Skellipede for it, but I'm still not too sure on that. Uh, but yeah, leave your suggestions in the comments down below. And be sure to like and subscribe as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.